I am Anil Kumar. We are discussing functions of functions and we have an excellent example here. We are given two functions f of x is 1 over x minus 1 and g of x is equal to x plus 2. We need to write function of f of g of x and find its domain range. And here is a very interesting question. Let me read and understand this question first. Explain why x equals to 1 is not a restriction on the composite function. So it is interesting. It says you can see that f of x is 1 over x minus 1. It has a restriction that x cannot be 1. Is it okay? So if I write the function f of x equals to 1 over x minus 1, we know x should not be equal to 1. But here we are given heads up. Explain why x equals to 1 is not a restriction on the composite function, right? So, so be careful when you solve. So let's uh, begin solving this question. So we need to find f of g of x, right? Let me use g of x in a different thing. It helps f of g of x. Now, what does it mean? It means that we'll replace g of x, which is inside function, by whatever is given to us for g of x. It's a straight line. So we'll replace this part with x plus 2. That is g of x. So x plus 2 is what we get as g of x. And we're trying to find f of x plus 2 now. Do you get the idea, right? So, so this is what we need to find. You know function notation? f of x plus 2 is, in your function f of x, replace x with x plus 2, right? So what we get here is, is 1 over, I'm replacing this x with x plus 2. So we get x plus 2 minus 1, right? So that gives us 1 over, 2 minus 1 is 1, so 1 over x plus 1. Do you see that? So what is the function of function which we get? So f of g of x of x is equals to 1 over x plus 1. So clearly here, the restriction is that x is not equal to minus 1. We didn't get x equals to not equal to 1. Do you see that part? So that is very interesting to note, right? So, so at times, when we are working on functions of functions, we may get restrictions which may not be the restrictions on original functions, right? Uh, or the original function restrictions are not ap applicable. Correct. This is very important to understand. Now you should note that here g of x defines a uh, super domain. So our domain is, so we know the domain of f of g of x is subset of domain of g of x. Do you see that? And for us, this is all real numbers. Here x belongs to real numbers. So, so g of x provided no restrictions and therefore the only restriction we have is from the final product which is 1 over x plus 1. Do you get an idea? So the domain here is that x is not equal to 1 but all of the real values. So let me write down the domain here, right? So we said domain is equals to x belongs to real numbers where x is not equal to minus 1 and what is the range so this is a reciprocal function 1 over x minus 1 it will approach 0 but it will never be at 0 right so we say range y belongs to real numbers where y is not equal to 0 right that is what it is let me illustrate this with the help of uh, uh, composition functions basic uh, rules just to remind you of, right? So here we'll do g of x and y, we'll see why 1 is in the domain but not minus 1, okay? So first operation which we perform is, is this place. This is inside function g of x. Is it okay? So if I take a point, let me take 1. If I take a point 1, so g of x is x plus 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. I get 3 as an output. Do you see that? Now, with 3, I am going to perform the outside function, which is f of x. If I substitute 3 here, I get 1 over 3 minus 2, which is half. So I get half. Do you see? So for 1, I am getting a value. 
Let me write down one more value just to check. If I write 2 here, there could be many values, okay. If I write 0 here, then I get 0 plus 2, I get 2. If I substitute 2 for f of x, I get 1 over 2 minus 1, which is, which is 1. What happens if I write minus 1? Let me write it in red ink. If I write minus 1, then minus 1 plus 2 is 1. Is that okay? So this much is okay. Gx doesn't have any restriction. But if I substitute this 1 here, I get 1 minus 1 in the denominator, right? So does not exist. So therefore, minus 1 is the restriction. Do you get an idea? Minus 1 is a restriction. And that is how we can visualize it. I hope this helps you to understand the very important concept of composition of functions. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.